39 books of the Old Testament. From Genesis to Malachi. You will not find one place where they taught a trinity. Mm -hmm. The apostles didn't teach a trinity. Only denomination treat, teach trinity. Why? Got no Holy Ghost. Amen. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Jesus said take my yoke upon you personal and learn of me. You need to Knowledge is power. Knowledge is what is known. You need to know him in the part of your sin. Paul said that I might know him in the fellowship of his son. He's the same. Yesterday, today, forevermore. So when you come to God, you got to come to God with a made up mind. You got to come with your mind made up to serve him. And after you get baptized in Jesus' name, be filled with the Holy Ghost, then you can't let your flesh dictate to you when and how you're going to serve God. Amen. Nobody feels good all the time. That don't bother me. No, sir. My flesh, my flesh not going to cause me to miss out on my blessing. My flesh not going to cause me to make an excuse not to serve my God who blessed me all week long. My God that kept me out of accident. My God that keeps me out of the doctor's office. My God that provides for my every need. And I'm going to lay on my behind and look at heaven and give my God an excuse because I'm on old flesh roller coaster. The devil is alive. My flesh is too. No, sir. God been too good to me. Lord have mercy. You can't serve God up and down. Somebody made a song that almost level to the ground. Man, look, I don't say that mess. <laughs> no. You don't serve God on your feelings. Emotion. Emotion will deceive you. That's right. Emotion will deceive you. Having the Holy Ghost is not emotions. That's the power of God. Praising God got nothing to do with emotion. It got to do with the quickening power of the Holy Ghost on the inside. Because while you're praising God, your emotion will be running wild. But your inner man says, I'm praising my God. The day he's been too good to me. He kept me. He delivered me. He delivered me from the hand of the enemy. When I should be in hell. My God. My God, I feel like shouting up in this place. I should be dead and in my grave of God's grace. My God, that wreck you almost had something. It was God's grace. Brought you out. Well, no good driving. It was God's mighty hand. And I'm going to go home and get on this little emotional roller coaster. I don't feel good. Thank you, Jesus. Suppose God, you called him. He said, leave me alone. I got a headache today. You be in a world of hurt. Somebody give him a quick little baby praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I feel so good. Lord Jesus Christ. Took up stone to stone him. Why? Thank you, Jesus. Simply because he's God Almighty. Now give me uh, St. John, Isaiah 43 and 13. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 43 and 13. He's the same. The writer said now, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Read. Yeah. Before the day was, I am he. Look at the holy. Before the day was. Old Testament. I'm getting some shocking revelation this morning. Before the day was, I am he. Is that right? Read. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I can work, and who shall let? Before the day was, I am he. This is God talking in the Old Testament, right? And who can deliver out of my hand? And Paul wrote that Jesus said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. 
In St. John chapter 8 and verse 24, Jesus said, And I said therefore unto you. Look what Jesus said. He's the same. That ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, <laughs> you're going to die in your sins. My God, people dying in their sins because they don't believe Jesus is I am he. God Almighty. That's what he said. If you don't believe it, you'll die in sin. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. What we're going to do with the word? Jesus said the same thing I told you from the beginning. I mean, thank you, Jesus. There is no God beside me. You better give me some more Isaiah. And that's a change of being missing. Jesus said, the same I told you from the beginning. Thank you, Jesus. I have many things to say to you, to judge of you. But he that has sent me is true, and I speak the words of those things which I have heard of him. Thank you, Jesus. Then said Jesus unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he. Lord, have mercy. He said, you know, when you put me on that cross, when you put me on that cross, that's when you're going to find out who I am. Because they blind. The God of this world have blinded the minds of religious folks. Have blinded their minds. They can't see the truth. Why? Stubbornness. Won't repent. Won't do it. That's why Jesus condemned the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Scribes. That's why they wanted to kill them. He said, you treat, keep the tradition of men and teach men to do it. See? Because they didn't deal with sin. They didn't say one brought the woman caught in adultery. Caught the woman in adultery, brought her to Jesus. Quick to judge folks. Want to stone them, kill them. Lord, we caught this woman in adultery. Very bad. You're watching her. That's just like people today. Watch it like a hawk. Better watch yourself. Amen. Watching you, they going to hell. <laughs> Y'all see people out there? Come on, you see you got people out there on school. Watch everything you do. Huh? Watch me. I don't care. I'm going to do the same thing I do today. See, I, I'm not a Sunday saint. Amen. Amen. See, when you got the Holy Ghost, you don't have to struggle to live right. Fake to live right. I get up in the morning and go to work on the same thing on the job, the same person. I laugh, I laugh here. I talk, I talk here. Just live right. Why? I got the Holy Ghost. And when the conversation turns sour, I bail out. See? So Jesus is the same. He's not going to change. And they want to kill him and stone him for doing the right thing. Pharisees want to kill him and stone him for doing the right thing. Why? Because they are, they are people of tradition. Jesus came brought a different message. Jesus brought the message of salvation. They didn't want to hear that. People don't want to hear a truth they've been blind to for all these years. I was in the denomination for 30 years. 30 years in it. And this is what I found out firsthand. People been in the blind so long, don't tell me this. I don't want to hear that. Well, you need to hear it. Because your denomination is going to land you where you don't want to be. Because no part, God had no part of it. Thank you, Jesus. See, in denomination, you can still suck them cigars. Mm -hmm. Play the Reverend smoke cigars and pipes. Mm -hmm. See? In denomination, you do that. And you come along and say, that's sin, brother. I don't want to hear it. And they'll tell you, we don't have that up in here. That's what they told Jesus. And Jesus said, that's fine. You, haven't reje you rejected me. You rejected salvation. You rejected eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Give me Isaiah. Read it. Isaiah 44, 46. You need to do some of that, Mike. Read it. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, uh -huh. and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Read. I am the first, I am the last. Tell what Jesus said. Verse 25. Then said Jesus unto him, Who art thou? Jesus said unto them, even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. Now what we're going to do with this? Uh 